This is Entrepreneurs Get Visible, the podcast for people who want more impact, influence, and income. I'm Anna Parker Naples, and I'll be sharing with you proven methods from leading entrepreneurs that help you get visible as an authority in your field. Because anything's possible when you get visible. Hey, and welcome to Entrepreneurs Get Visible. Today, I want to share with you why I am prioritizing networking off the online space, why that's going on for me and the results that I'm seeing as a result of me prioritizing, building, growing, connecting with people who are not in what has become a rather overcrowded marketplace in the online space. First of all, I got a little bit tired of all of it last year. And there I was seeing so many people behaving badly and it didn't sit right with me. It didn't sit right with how I think we should be treating clients. It doesn't sit right with how I want to show up in the world. And I was thinking, is this even what I want anymore? I feel like I've gone through a major period of growth. And as I think about what I really want for myself and my business, I've been questioning some of the connections that I have in the online space, which led me to think, well, if I don't want to show up here online in the way that I have, what else is open to me? And I decided that I would systematically and intentionally build new relationships and new networking connections and new communities in other spaces that were not so heavily reliant on Instagram and what goes on in Facebook groups. And let me tell you, it's been really, really refreshing. This also, I think, comes for me as a result of that post-lockdown, post-COVID period, which feels like a hazy, uncomfortable memory now where, you know, we were all so isolated. And in those times, I was incredibly grateful for the fact that I was running an online business. But as I said, I think that there is there is some nastiness behind the scenes that I don't really like and it doesn't represent who I am and how I want to be. If you've been following my story, you will know that I am in the middle of writing a novel that I have big plans for. And I kind of know that I've begun the journey of the next stage of my life, however long it takes me for that to be created. So how do I do this? How do I, when I've built a business that is almost exclusively online and following a launch model, how do I step out of that need to push to constantly be in launch and keep my business safe and protected. And also, if I do something, I'm the kind of person that I like to do it full on and properly. I don't half-ass anything. So for me then, what this has looked like is stepping out of the spaces that I'm normally mixing with people in, not feeling the need to go to the opening of an envelope. Is that the phrase? Not feeling the need to show up at the events that I know everybody is going to be at, all of the names that we see over and over again. And intentionally going and joining networks or communities or masterminds that do not have the usual faces in And the people particularly that are known for the drama or are connected with the people that are known for the drama because I just don't want that in my life. It's so unpleasant. And this has been so interesting. Not only has it reminded me how big the world is, but it's also reminded me that you can be visible, bearing in mind that is the name of this podcast, you can be visible without having to constantly be on social media. And When you get out and meet the right caliber of people, and I think that's important when you're thinking about where you want to network, that you're really thinking about the level of expertise that you want to be in the room with, then you can be visible by sharing your story, by genuinely meeting people, actually listening to them, actually engaging and following up afterwards. I, for example, went for, uh, I was invited for a business networking meal about two weeks ago. And I was the youngest in the room by about 15 years, which was a little bit strange, seeing as my kids constantly tell me that I'm extremely old and boring. But it was really refreshing to be in a room of incredible business owners who still valued the old fashioned methods of communicating 
connecting and building a sense of community. And it really made me realize that I have been or allowed myself to be sucked into this vacuum almost in the online space. And there is so much beyond. And what I found really interesting for myself is to switch off from that need to be in constant launch and potentially emulating other people's success and really dive down into what well, what is it I want? I want to be the person on everybody's lips that is recommended for podcasting and audio at this stage in my life. But I am, as I said, I'm already moving somewhere else. I'm creating the next evolution of me. And what I found incredible is that from this one dinner where I didn't even manage to speak directly to everyone in the room, but it was a really small group of people, I have already got four clients, new clients, and they weren't the people in the room. They were people they recommended and referred to me because they'd heard my story. They'd met me. They touched me. They'd shaked my hand. That's how I mean they touched me, by the way. Uh, and, and it was just incredible to see how quickly that knock-on effect can happen. Now, the follow-on of the sales, for example, if I had gone for a launch strategy for a lower-end product, it would have taken a shed load of work for that to happen. And so if you are like me and you've grown a little bit weary of all the drama, if you're not liking it and it's not feeling comfortable for you, I'm giving you permission to think about other ways to get visible. And when I think about it, in terms of my audiobook and voiceover career, this is how I did it. I went out and I met people and I met them for lunch. I met them for dinner. I showed up at conferences. I made sure I was in the room when interesting conversations were happening. So this is something you can add to your toolbox now that we are able to get out and about. So I'm going to challenge you to see where you can in the next week book to go to an event on your own because I think something special happens when you show up on your own. It forces you to go and talk to people and to engage and be present and not hide in the corner with your mate to, that you can go to to start connecting with other people. And the challenge goes further than that. Make sure that you find at least one person that you follow up with afterwards, not so that you can sell to them, but so that you can develop and continue and maintain a professional relationship because you never know who they might know. So I would love to hear from you if this is something that you are also seeing, that it's time to break out of just the online space. Love to know about that. So maybe DM me on Instagram and tell me that you've listened today. And I just want to leave you with the fact that one of the things I found really powerful in that evening was the fact that we listened to each other's stories just for under five minutes. And yet listening to those stories made us so much more aware of the power that each of us held and who we really were and what we were about. And this is one of the reasons that podcasts work so well. So if you have been thinking that you need to build your authority using your story, then a podcast is for you. So I invite you to go and check out our legendary podcast launch package at www.annapn.co forward slash launch. Thank you for listening to Entrepreneurs Get Visible. To get your free checklist on how to raise your profile and to find out about our community, go to annaparkernaples.co.uk forward slash get visible.